What's up, you sexy nerds? It's your boy True, also known as Juan, and uh, welcome to the Nerd Chronicles. See, did the glasses thing that time. All right, so uh, what are we gonna be talking about? <laughs> you guys might actually enjoy this one. I don't know who how many of you guys out there are Star Trek fans or anything like that, but um, does anyone remember the Next Generation when uh, Picard winds up telling or saying that iconic line of "Shut up, Wesley." <laughs> Now, I know Will Wheaton hates that, and oh, he just tends to block anyone that uses that for, uh, to be a troll. And, you know, this isn't a dig at, um, Will Wheaton or the character or anything like that. Um, this is, a uh, this is one of those nerdy phrases that I feel like you can learn a lot from. So, shut up, Wesley. <laughs> um, I guess the best way to kind of describe that is, uh, sometimes you just gotta know when to shut up. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that's one of the cats trying to get into this. <laughs> Anyways. So, I'm not saying, you know, you shouldn't speak up or not voice your opinion, but what I'm getting at is it's one of those things that you don't always have to, uh... Sorry, I just saw something interesting displayed there. You don't always have to, uh, express your opinion about every certain subject. Sometimes, even if you're right, as long as you know you're right, you don't have to tell everyone, hey, I'm right, this person's wrong, blah, 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 you know, screw them, they don't know what they're talking about. It's kind of that whole, uh, walk quietly, carry a big stick type thing, you know. Let everyone else carry their twigs saying how right they are about anything and everything. Um, and that also applies to just arguments sometimes. You just can't get through to someone, and the more you keep talking and trying to make your point, the more it tends to uh, make that other person fired up. I mean, I'm not the type of person to get into politics and all religion and all that other stuff, because honestly, I don't really want to even give an opinion on that, because that's how people tend to get so upset about things, because they're so passionate about it. So it's one of those... If it comes into an argument like that, I don't even say anything. There's no point to. Um, because they've already made up their mind. And sometimes it seems like when people are very, very extreme, they don't care if they're wrong. They're going to stick to their guns and die by it. Which is a, it's a little unfortunate. It's okay to have a difference of opinion. It's okay to not agree 100% with the other person and everything like that. But we should be civil about it. And sometimes the best thing to do is just, well, it's just to shut up. Because there's no reason to poke the bear. Especially if you know that they're going to wind up exploding into a temper or rage or anything like that. I mean... I've been guilty of instigating stuff. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen how uh, I've been with some of the nerd crew where I will instigate stuff with Gambit just to get him to rage and all that. And yeah, it's fun and all that. But in the end, we understand that we're friends and that we'll have differences of opinions. The same thing with Wild or Grizz or even Mender. We'll, 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 we'll take little ribs at each other. And um, sometimes it's bad and sometimes we shouldn't. But if we ever do wind up offending one another. We're always quick to apologize because it's one of those things that a difference of opinion should not like break up a friendship, especially a good friendship. You guys can learn to agree to disagree and stuff like that and move on and move past it and not bring it up. Shut up about the subject, you know? Um, then there's the times where like I said, you're, you're right, you're 100% right, and you know you're right. And you know deep down that they're wrong and everything like that. But if, if it's something dumb, <laughs> oh, why bother with it? Like, um, I'm not going to use uh, any of particular names or anything like that, but when you start arguing over the, the dumb things like um, realistic physics on mythical creatures like how if Godzilla was to fall onto his behind how it would hurt thousands of times more than if I was to fall on my behind or anything like that or you know how much 
methane or something along those lines. Something has to have inside of its body in order to breathe out a fire that type of big. And who cares? <laughs> it's, it's a science fiction mythological creature we don't have any real world physics about. But some people will fight to the death and argue to death about these types of things. And sometimes it's just better to let them get their opinion out and not even bother with it. But yeah, it's just, if someone has a plan or an issue or something like that, that they're going to do and you know it's going to fail, let them, let them do what they're going to do. And then after it's all said and done, move on. You don't have to be like, no, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. No, 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 no. There's no point to it. There's no point to do senseless arguments. That was my phone. I guess I didn't have that muted. <laughs> Um, but there's no sense in trying to drive these pointless arguments and trying to make a point on something that doesn't really matter. Like, oh, Marvel's better. Oh, DC's better. They're both great, <laughs> you know? Um, I guess it's the type, or Star Trek's better. Star Wars is better. They both deal with different things. It's, it's that type of crap. Xbox, PS4, Nintendo, or whatever, you know, Sega. <laughs> I, I just... I've noticed that in working the retail industry like I did for so long, sometimes it's just better to shut up Wesley and let them tell you why World of Warcraft is the greatest game known to man and how it's miles and miles better than any other game out there and they'll go out and troll other games saying, oh, World of Warcraft is better than this game or, you know, you got your college. It's, it's that type of stuff. That's your opinion. Whatever, man. You want to you wanna go ahead and keep your opinion, that's great. Uh, at least you have an opinion. I'm not going to try and change it. I'm going to say, oh, you know, that's, that's your cup of tea. I guess the only way to kind of get past that whole shut up, Wesley, is if they directly ask you your opinion. But sometimes it's just best not to give it. Especially in a online forum type thing or in a in these group chat rooms and all that because then people want to weigh in on everything because everyone's opinion means something to their 15 followers or their thousand followers or their millions of followers or something like that and it's just <laughs> a lot of heartache and a lot of uh, stuff would be fixed if people would know when to keep their mouth shut on things and just let people be people um, I guess that's really it for now. I know that it doesn't sound like, uh, it sounds like I'm being very, very passive. And it's not even that. It's just a lot of these arguments that happen online. Fortnite being the best game ever out there over Red Dead Redemption and all this other stuff. Who cares? That's your opinion. You want to go ahead and believe that. Do it. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to shut up about the whole situation because I don't see the point on it. If you really want to know my opinion, well, I'll tell you, but obviously you just want to boost your ego or think you're right about whatever, and there's no right or wrong answer on that. So in summary, when it comes to right and wrong and all that other stuff, if there's no real answer, if it's all matter of opinion, there's no point to wind up uh, trying to prove you're right on an opinion. It's stupid. Just shut up, Wesley. <laughs> Um, so anyways, that's, uh, episode, shit, what am I, three now? I can't remember. I'll have to look that up. <laughs> but I'm sorry this one's kind of a little random-ish and everything like that. It's just, there's been a lot of, uh, people recently that I've noticed that just really don't know how to keep an opinion to themselves. And they just want to be a troll or they want to be very, very critical on things. And I hope that whoever winds up watching this, can take a lesson from that, and sometimes it's just, you don't need to have an opinion on absolutely everything that you need to share with everyone. It's okay, you should have an opinion on everything, though. You don't need to share it all the time. At any rate, that's uh, me, your boy Trees Two Cents on Shut Up Wesley, and uh, I hope you guys uh, have a good day today, and we'll see you on the next one. Remember, stay nerdy. Always.